What's up, YouTube? It's Vagento again. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a no slide. So, pretty much, uh, it's one of these. Uh, like that. So, let's get started. Alright, so, you first take your clips and make them into compound clips. Then next, you get yourself a fusion clip and make it the same length as whatever you have. So, once you have that, you just drag your well first get a background and make it transparent and then drag your two compound clips uh, so in whatever order you like of course uh, and so the first one since it's already in place, you don't necessarily have to add uh, anything here. But for the next one, you'll need a transform. So what we're going to do is put a transform here. And we're going to use this transform to position this footage on top of this so and to help us with this we can add a transform right here this transform will also be used to do the slide but you can also use it to make sure that the footage lines up so we can drag this up and make sure that there are no edges showing and that also if we go here that the top isn't showing so that might be a little difficult but just keep trying and as you can see still some transparent edges so you want to just position it the best way you can. So, all right. And like that should be good. So, now you, I suggest using three keyframes really but uh two works too but i think uh three will work the best for this so and this might be a little slow but of course your transition doesn't have to be like this so you can do like that do it to wherever you want and in the middle it should be so like right in the middle I say so uh, command or control G uh, so if you deselect any, any nodes that you have on the node graph and you pretty much go to the screen or tap the screen is what I like to do but like press on the screen um, and I press control or in my case command G because I'm on Mac but on Windows it's control G so and pretty much we just will line this up in the middle on the middle keyframe so about right there it should be good and then on the last
last keyframe it should be uh let's try negative 0.5 no that's too f oh wait negative 0.5 yeah that's good so then pretty much you're gonna make an s graph so uh something about like that so pretty much a little bit similar to a time remap uh graph or a time remap s graph and then you do motion blur or do whatever motion blur settings you want uh, typically since I have a laptop um, I try not to go past six unless I really have to at least in terms of the quality so and I don't go past 280 in terms of shutter angle so that's just a tip for anyone who finds this tutorial and uses a laptop uh, so pretty much that's how that's done and then I'll show you the result 